Hello everyone and welcome to another Nori unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing a filter car by Argo Hytos. All right guys, I'm really excited to get into the details of this filter cart, all of the design specifications, you know, what it means in terms of operations, and even the filter specifications. Before we do, I want to explain a little bit about filter carts in general. Typically we use these to help transfer oil, but through a filter. So if we're going from a drum of oil into a machine, let's say a hydraulic reservoir, then we can filter it in the process because the oil may not be as clean as you need it to be when you buy it initially. And the good thing here is there's a particle monitor built within, you'll see on the screen here, that monitors the particles over time. We'll get into that specification a little bit later on. Or if there's a situation where you just simply need to clean the machine down, the oil's already in the reservoir of a machine, you can recirculate the oil through the filter cart and maybe have the ability to use this on multiple machines. Of course, as long as it's the same oil, but it has the, the, the portability behind it. So it's nice and portable, all compact, easy to use. We already plugged it in, but I want to show you a little bit about how, to, how easy it is to move this thing around. All right, so you'll see it's pretty easy to move around. Um, we'll get back into this side in a second, explaining all the different features on the panel on the front side. But there's a lot of things to explain over here with how this filter works. Okay, a few things to cover here. Um, as I was moving it, it was actually pretty easy to move. There's a good center of gravity that as you tilt it back, it gets, it's easy to move around. But more importantly, as you maybe store it in that horizontal position, the spill pan down here keeps track of all the oil that might be dripping down there. Or of course, when it goes back and forth, so there's no worries there. Um, the filter housing itself, they have these handles here that make it really easy to remove without actually using any added tools. Um, there, of course, there's nice ways in which the, the, the hoses themselves are held here by these brackets. There's brackets back here as well for the electrical cable. Everything just has a really good rugged design for industrial applications. All right, I'm really anxious to get into discussing how this filter element comes out and comes, goes back in. But before I do, I want to remind you that there's a sensor down here that is actually a differential pressure sensor. So it'll turn from green to orange when this filter's at a point that needs to be replaced. So it's a great visual. But on top of that, it's not the only sensor. There's some more sensors in here. There's a particle monitor, which will give you the particle count. We'll give you, we'll give you more details on that in a minute. There's also a relative humidity indicator and a temperature sensor. Um, and one more thing, right here, there's a coarse suction filter at 280 microns. It'll capture all the bigger particles first. Um, and that can actually be taken out, cleaned, and reused, so it's easy for maintenance. So here we see, on back to the filter element itself, it's not too hard to loosen this off. And once you do, take it out and then you can have another filter element like this. So you'll notice that was a pretty easy process just to get the filter out, get it back in. When, when you look at the bottom, you'll see the filter rating, but in addition to that, there's actually a valve right here. It's a backflow valve, so any oil or dirty oil, dirty contaminants that might be within, when you take it out to get replaced, it doesn't go back into the housing, so that's an important feature. Uh, but we want to make sure we're understanding what the right type of filter element there is. So for example, this one is a 3 micron filter beta 200. What that means is that for every 200 particles at three microns or greater that get trapped by this filter, only one will get by, which is a really good efficiency of 99.5% efficiency. So you need to make sure you're selecting the right filters for that as well as dirt holding capacity. A great feature about this filter cart is that as the dirt gets kind of, or the contaminants start to build up and we start to experience a, a delta pressure increase, then we're going to slow down the flow rate and all of that is happening automatically on this filter cart. It's going to be lowering that flow rate corresponding to perhaps other things like the viscosity, but most importantly to optimize the dirt holding capacity of this filter cart, maximizing all the opportunities with this filter element as a whole. Okay, so we're about to get this thing turned around. I'll show you some things on the other side. Before I do, 
This filter right here is a three micron filter. You can also get it in five and 10 microns. You can also get a version that is a spark protect, which basically means if you have low conductivity oils, it can protect against discharge of, of electricity. Um, and there's one more version that can help remove water as well. So take a look at those. Okay, now that we're on this side, we can see a few things. One for sure is this valve. Now what this valve does, as this is taking oil analysis data, like we mentioned earlier, we can take the oil sample information before the filters, as the oil is approaching the filter, or we switch it to here, then we'll be taking data after the filter, so we can see how well the filter's doing before it goes into your machine. Additional to that, we have an emergency stop button for safety reasons, and we have a USB port here that we can extract the data after we've collected a lot of oil uh, oil analysis information. One more thing, there's a printer right here so we can get that data quickly and bring it to someone who needed to specify all the oil analysis information. But let's talk about some more specs on the screen. Okay, so the screen here is touch screen, it's easy to use. The home screen has everything kind of laid out with icons that are easy to understand. Right there in the middle, while it's operating, you'll see the ISO code show up, the liters per minute, so the flow rate, which like I said, is going to be variable based on how far the filter is being filled up with the dirt holding capacity. There's relative humidity there, there's temperature, and along the side, these icons, you have the on off button there, you have data, uh, you can show the, the current data and the past data going, going back a few. You can print the ISO codes and other oil uh, information because it has uh, a couple of different sensors there that are looking at the oil parameters. Um, we can always download it here to the USB drive. Um, we could set the dosing functions, which is, is really important because if you have a certain volume of oil that you want to go into a machine, you can specify that right here. Right now I have it set to 10 liters. And so that means as it, it gets turned on, it's going to stop automatically once it gets to that volume. Um, back to the home screen here, there's a few more things. There's all kinds of settings they can get to. Um, and filter specifications, there's error information if anything pops up as a concern. Of course, I've talked about the, the ISO codes that show up on the screen, but more importantly, you can specify an actual auto shutoff ISO code, so when it gets down to that cleanliness level during it, it filtering the oil within the machine, it can automatically shut off once you get to your target cleanliness setting. And you can have it set, show up as ISO 4406, like it is doing right now, or you can do it with, with a NAS 1638, kind of cleanliness standard. Um, and also there's an alarm, so that they start to go up, the ISO codes start to increase, there will be an alarm that will, will let indicate, hey, we have too high of an ISO code, which is a really important feature when you're trying to use the filter cart the right way or to simply monitor the cleanliness levels of the oil as a whole. Okay, before we finish off, I wanna mention one more thing, and that re relates to the profile management on this screen. Not only is it easy to navigate to, but it can, you can have up to 200 profiles most of which are customizable, and they're for each individual machines or group of machines, so you can set a cleanliness target, a flow rate, the name or alarm parameters, that way that the sensors that are kind of built into this will properly be associated to those machines, and you can use the, the tools really easily without having to change a lot of things. So between the management on the screen itself, all the different features, the valves are kind of straightforward, the, the, the ergonomics of moving it around, the spill containment, there's a lot of really great features making this an awesome filter cart for an industrial environment. So if you have any more questions or uh, want to see more specifications about it online, please visit the link below. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next unboxing.